Welcome to Powerhouse Believers Network. And um, from the last episode, we had um, certain measures we shared together. The last episode that has to do with um, the words, we realized that those who lose their husbands to uh, strange women, uh, one of the uh, things those, those strange women they use is flattering words. And in um, Proverbs chapter 7, uh, in, from verse, I, mean, I think in verse 5, we saw um, how the Bible says that these strange women, they use flattering words. And I remember saying that in any war, you will have to understand your enemy's you know, plans or tactics. And then uh, that knowledge alone affords you the opportunity to be able to beat them down. Um, so um, that has to do with words that you need to say. Please, if you have not watched that, I want you to go and watch that episode but this is going to be more of like part two um what are the signs what are the uh, things that happens before men actually they um, begin to become unfaithful or and then of course they uh, let go of their wife and then stay hooked to strange women see the word of god is complete and i will show you something that you may have not noticed and I want you to stay and watch this video to the end. It will bring a lot of knowledge to you, which you will use to your advantage. Now, the Bible says in verse, um, in verse 9, remember, it talks about uh, what the, you shouldn't do and all of that from the beginning, how he should be, um, the man should be to listen to the word of God. And then that will afford him the opportunity of escaping the strange woman. And we said that the strange woman used flattering words. I've said that. And the second thing is this, that he said, in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an aloe. What we're going to describe today is about the twilight, about the evening. As a wife, do everything possible to keep your husband home in the twilight. You say, you, say, you say, man of God, what are you trying to say? Yes. You see the evening. In the evening, in the twilight. If you don't hold your husband, if your husband has not learned the act of staying at home in the evening, then you will soon lose that man. If it is not job, if it's not in short, job shouldn't even hold your husband in the evening. Something that a man who has been working from the morning and even the evening is still working. No, 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 no. The man should rest. He should come back to you. But you can make your husband to not to come home in the twilight. You can make your husband not to come home in the twilight. Most times, men that are, um, that the home is no longer comfortable for them. When they close from work, they go look around, look for somewhere where they can uh, stay with friends and just and drink. And from there, they will meet the strange woman. It is right at that spot that they meet strange women. So, one of the woman's power as a wife is that you know creativity ability to keep your husband coming back home directly from work and not to another place what should you do that will make your husband always wanting to get home and see your face first you must Carefully study him and know what can keep him at home. Do you know that if your husband loves watching football and you don't have an, a piece of equipment that you can use to get the football, um, to view it at home, and because of that he goes, you know, after work, he goes to where they watch at the uh, sports center, where they watch, you know what? Do everything possible. Save money and buy that piece of equipment and bring that football 
right into your home. So that he can come. And then when he comes, join him in enjoying the football. Even if you are not a football fan, try to become one by force, by fire, by force. Just enjoy it. It doesn't take anything from you. You're only doing all of this just to keep your husband in check. And we are, the women are the are home builders. So everything that will make the home to, to, to be built well, you put it, if you are building a physical house, you are, going to, you are going to gather everything that will bring out a befitting house. That's the truth. So long as that, the addition of any ingredient or equipment is going to make that edifice fantastic, you are going to do it. And so one of the things that you must do is to make sure your husband is always at home in the evening, in the twilight. Because let me read it again in verse 9. It says, in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and the dark night. Why must this episode of this strange woman happen in the night? These are things we are forgetting. The Bible doesn't just, the Bible is not just written, you know, just for written sake. No, 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 no. The Bible captures every revelation of God. And that revelation of God is the light of man. So the understanding of God's revelation is the deliverance that you, you will ever get. So there's something about the night. Any time your husband begins to stay away from home at night because of your character, know that a strange woman will soon take him from you. So a wise woman will do everything most times, if it is the meal, the way you cook your meal, uh, that makes him leave the work and then go stay outside, take dinner outside, you will meet a strange woman there. So what do you do? Improve on your cooking. If you do not know how to cook, then you have to improve on your cooking. Go and learn. You can go to your neighbor's house and learn. Or you can, you can go to uh, um, uh, a school where they teach people how to cook. And then you learn. And then you, you shouldn't be shy about this. You should not be shy about this. Especially if you have ever gone out with, her, with him and he has taken any kind of meal and he has so appreciated that meal, mark it, write it. Write it. He may not need to disclose to him or write it. That's a certain meal. My husband so appreciate, appreciated it when we were out the other day. Write it. Learn the secret on how to cook that meal. And begin to prepare it at home. So that he can leave. He can leave work and come home and stay at home. If you can keep your husband in the twilight, in the dark, 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 darkest of the night, at home, that husband will stay at home. But any man that has learned the art of staying away from the house in the evening, that man will soon be lost to strange women. So this truth I'm exposing to you today, I want you to hold it tight. I want you to walk towards it. I want you to make sure, just observe, observe. Most times the problem you're having, your husband may just come home and just feel like you're no longer attractive to him. You don't know. All the while he has been seeing strange women in the night, in the evening, when he goes to stay to eat dinner, when he goes to take um, alcoholic drinks or to, to, to stay away with friends and all of that, your husband must find your company as the best company, especially in the evening. And so what happens in the evening? Do you know another thing? Do you know that it is the evening that most women look shabby? I'm telling you the truth. It's in the evening that they do not take proper care of themselves. Do so you know what you do? In the evening, in the twilight, what you do is that in the evening, in the twilight, what you do is that you begin to you wear, put on wear clothes and perfume that make you, you know, smell good. So make the evening so inviting that your husband will have to come back home in the twilight. Simple things what can prevent heavy matters. As even to as that of losing your husband. 
So take your bed, take your bath early. When you, the time you know you're, he's going to arrive, take your bath early, dress fine, and look good. So as he's coming back, when he comes back, he wouldn't want to leave the house again. I'm telling you the truth. These things, you must, you must, you must emphasize it. Incorporate it to your daily routine. Especially the emphasis on the evening. Many women, if you walk into their home in the night, you see that they are time wrapper. They are, uh, I mean, loose at that time and then they are kept at that time. No, 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 no. Your husband will not want to stay back at home in the evening. And it's very important to keep your husband in the evening. Because the strange women, they are stationed in the evening. Okay, just check out now. Most of these, you know, um, most of these hotels um, or motels, check, most of these girls that hang around, it's in the evening. Go to cities. It's in the evening that they come out, they dress very fine, and they come out and they hang around. And then your husbands or your men, you know, go, uh, they put, you know, pull uh, uh, back, and then they talk to them, and they take them, you know, to their hotels. It's in the evening. They know this, they know this secret. In the evening, that's when they dress. They don't hang around in the morning or in the afternoon. No, but in the evening, they would dress and go and stay at strategic positions of the, of the, of the city, waiting for this man to come around. So what do you do as a wife? Also in the evening, you dress first. And then you wait for him. And that's important for you to know. So use the power of the evening, the power of the night, to keep your husband at home. Use everything within your power to keep your husband at home in the evening. And nothing, nothing, no excuse, no football watching, no nothing, or keep him no. If you do this, no woman, no strange woman can take your husband from you. Share this truth with other people. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe to be part of this evangelical work. More are coming. I'll wait again to the next episode where I will reveal another thing to you. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. In Christ's name.